Now, the Kogi state government says this is the allegation by the Social Democratic Party, SDP, that it orchestrated attacks on witnesses at the governorship election petition tribunal. Now, the uh, Kogi state government argued that uh, the allegations was uh, reckless and also logical, and as uh, the public was already following the case and would know that no one would plot an attack against witnesses who testified against those who paid them to testify. Now, Commissioner for Information and Communications, Kinsley Fowler, emphasized that the case at the uh, tribunal was between parties and that the state government was not one of them. For the national chairman of the SDP to make false claims against the Kogi state government before gentlemen of the press is further proof of the party's irrelevance and the reason the party is not controlling any state in the federation. Kogi state cannot be a podium for the SDP to test its songs of division, ethnic bigotry, and violence. As a legitimate government, we won't be soiled in the oil of prejudice that the SDP has engaged in with impunity. We will protect all the people and residents of the state and also protect our integrity and image. If any attack did happen, as claimed by the SDP, it must, have been, it must have been state managed by the SDP to justify their failure to produce the number of witnesses they claim to have in line with their modus operandi as witnessed during the campaigns. We urge the people of the state to go about their normal businesses as there won't be any chance for anyone to attack any Kogite. No stone will be left unturned to ensure peace and security in the state. Thank you and God bless you all. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.